Hi there, my name is Chef Dan and I am the food service director at St. Margaret's in Victoria, British Columbia. Um, we have been tasked to show you, the Sage community, uh, some simple recipes using our own recipes that we use at the school. So I'm going to actually start by uh, dicing my onion. Now, one thing to remember is always leave the little root on because it helps to uh, keep the onion stable while you're, you're dicing it. Now I'm just going to start, go through like that, let the knife do the work and then I'm going to go downwards. Now what I need to do is sweat that off gently. So I'm going to just put my uh, little pot here on a medium heat. A little bit of olive oil. And I'm just going to gently sweat those off. Just going to add a little bit of salt. That will help to bring out the, the moisture and just help to, uh, to soften the onions. This will take about, you know, five to six minutes. You see, that it's, it's, it's not frying or anything. You just want a really, really uh, gentle sweat just to soften them. And while that's happening, I'm going to prepare my chicken. Now, the recipe calls for chicken breasts. Now, what I did, I roasted a whole chicken. Uh, so this way I get uh, three different preparations out of the whole chicken. You know, I can use the bones for stock, I can use the legs for another uh, meal. So for this uh, particular recipe I've got two uh, breasts which is about 350 grams. I'm just going to dice them up. Now you don't have to be uh, too fancy with this. Just make sure that it's uh, you know it's even like each each piece is sort of evenly diced. Now I'm going to mix all my ingredients together. Now I'm going to place the chicken in my bowl. And here I have some onions that I cooked earlier, and as you'll see, they're not really coloured, they're just nice and soft and translucent. I'm going to add them to the bowl. Now I'm going to add my spice blend. So here I have garlic powder, a half a teaspoon, cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon, and chili powder, one tablespoon. That's gonna go straight into the bowl. And then here I have some enchilada sauce. Again, the recipe calls for using a store-bought one. Uh, I couldn't find one, so I used the recipe that we have in our database. Um, so if you can't find any either, reach out to us and we'll be happy to uh, provide this recipe for you. So I'm gonna add about three quarters of this enchilada sauce into the bowl and I'm just going to stir that around just to incorporate nicely. You don't want too much sauce so it's uh, as to make it too wet and there you go that's everything mixed in. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to preheat my oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and now I'm going to build uh, my enchiladas. I don't actually have a, a pan, so I'm just going to use a frying pan that I have. Um, and I'm going to use 6 inch uh, whole wheat tortillas. Um, so what we need to do is I have a little bit of the enchilada sauce left over. I'm just going to spread a little bit of that on the bottom of the pan. And now we're going to build. So we take a tortilla. We take a little bit of our mix. Now 
and we just want to roll it up like so don't be too uh, don't roll them too tight and you want the seam on the bottom okay and the next one And this recipe will make six enchiladas. Again, roll in, seam on the bottom. So this way it won't, uh, all the filling won't come out. So I have all my enchiladas in the pan now, nice and snug. Um, I have a little bit of the sauce left over and I'm just going to Put a little bit over each of the enchiladas. This helps it from, uh, you know, the, each enchilada drying out. Gives it a bit more moisture, a bit more flavor. Okay, and now I'm gonna finish it with some cheddar cheese. Now I've gone for a smoked cheddar. Uh, just a little something different, not traditional, but um, you know, lots of flavor in there. Okay, just a nice light sprinkle and now this is going to go into the preheated oven for 25 minutes um, And then after 25 minutes pull them out leave them to rest for a little bit because they'll be very hot um, And then you're, you're good to serve serve with a, a nice green salad um, And yeah, nice simple recipe for that the kids will love. Thank you very much